Hi everyone, Pascal here, Technical Product Manager of Bear Conductive. And today we're going to be continuing our work with Electric Paint Circuit Kit by extending it this time. Um, so if you haven't seen uh, our previous video, have a look here, a check here. Um, but yeah, so we're going to extend the circuit kit uh, today with the, some Sparkfun LEDs, I'll show you in a minute, and some Tubitronic LEDs and using our Electric Paint Tube again. But yeah, let's get cracking. get started so this is the base template that we're using um, this is similar to the one we used last time for the circuit kit um, we provide a template but you can paint your own ones with uh, pencils and sharpies and uh, what's important though is can you see it like here yeah so what's important is that so this is the battery um, that the polarities of the battery the plus and the minus is the same as for the LEDs so when you mark them out then you make sure that all the LEDs are pointing in the same directions yeah um, the LEDs that we're using is the Sparkfun LED, the tiny one here, tiny but powerful, and that's white LED. And then we're also using um, two Chibitronic LEDs. These one, these bad boys here, uh, they come in different colors. These ones are the yellow, red, and blue one. Um, but you can also get them either in white or in uh, tropical colors. And they're great because they're already adhesive, um, which makes it very easy to play with. Right, let's get started. So like we did last time uh, with the circuit kit, the first step is to coat solder or paint with our electric paint. All right, so just like last time, um, we can paint the circuit by holding the electric paint to a 90 degree angle and filling out the circuit. It's gonna hold it down here. And then I'm gonna cold solder the lily. There we go. So now I've cold soldered the spark fun, the lily pad to the circuit. So cold solder again, so adding a block of electric paint, like so. And then, yeah, just filling out the circuits. Circuits, just one circuit. With electric paint, holding electric paint at a 90 degree angle. Um, yeah, so now I'm getting onto the Chibitronic LED. So, which one am I gonna take? Blue one, let's take the blue one. Plus side goes here, and the minus side goes that way. Great, like I said, they're adhesive, so already they're stuck onto the paper, which is very nice. And very easy to cold solder then. Love electric paint, and continue. Cool. Um, so you continue doing that, I'm going to show you again, be a bit of a battery, apply electric paint, 90 degree angle, so that way I get a smooth surface. Um, a smooth surface is very nice for electric paint because electric paint is resistive and the smoother the surface is, the less resistance and therefore the better the conductivity of the electricity. I hope that makes sense. Um, once you're done, it looks something like this. So this is a completed circuit. Um, so you can see I have the two Chibitronic LEDs and spark front LED here. If I then take a battery and add the battery on top, it lights up. Let me twist it around. There we go. So you can see the, oh, let me move it down further here. See the yellow and the red and the white one. We have some more. Let me get those as well. Here's another example. I'm gonna slide that one in here. Actually, come to the side. Slide that side. And then this one goes also that way. This is an example of a blue one and a yellow one and a white one. What you can then do is then take the houses from the circuit kit that we did last time and just add them to your circuit as well. So, just a little bus here and a little house here and this house here, blue house and also adding this house, covering the battery. Ta -da! So this way it's a nice and easy way to extend your electric paint circuit kit. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like the video and subscribe to our channel. Um, if you have any questions, let us know in the comment section below. Also let us know of any um, project ideas you want to see in the future. Um, but yeah, see you next time.